talk about uh, you know Jimi Hendrix. We were on tour. Vanilla Fudge was uh, opening for Hendrix, and uh, at the time, it was, I guess it was uh, summer of '68. I imagine you know it was '68, and uh, it was we were hanging out at a pool. It had to be like you know two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. So we went, at, me and uh, you know uh, Mitch Mitchell and Noel Redding, we all went into the hotel room. We were hanging out. And Jimmy comes walking in, all decked out in his stage clothes. That's, he always looked like that 24-7. And he goes, I want to play you something. So he takes out the two acetates of uh, Electric Ladyland. The acetates, you know, before they were pressed. And he plays electric, He plays the God's Made Love over this, in this little web core, you know, with the two portable speakers on the sides, right? So, I mean, just imagine listening to the panning, you know, and we were all drinking and smoking something. But that was an amazing moment because this, you know, went out to be uh, the hallmark of his uh, career from that point going forward. So, uh, pretty amazing moment in my life. There was another time in 1968 when uh, we were touring with Led Zeppelin. And uh, we were doing a concert in Albuquerque and uh, Jimmy Page uh, comes in with, uh, you know, the guys with uh, Bonzo. And uh, he takes out the acetates of Led Zeppelin too. And I heard the whole you know, album before anybody ever heard it. You know, What Should and What Should Never Be was on there, and I remember hearing, you know, a whole lot of love. And me and Carmine were in the room checking it out and not, not realizing how huge this thing was going to be and how it was going to actually catapult them into, you know, superstardom. When you heard uh, a whole lot of love for the very first time, what was your actual reaction to this? I was song? jealous. I was jealous because Vanilla Fudge, frankly, was starting to flounder. We we're trying to refine our direction, and Atlantic was trying to push us. You guys, are, you know, you got to get some new material. Listen to this is when I told you the story about Jerry Greenberg. Played me a whole lot of love, and I was just so floored, you know, by the intensity and the passion of that record. 